Well, hello everybody, and I'm hoping you're having a great Thursday so far. Here in Las Vegas, the temperatures are getting hot. Um, I'm Sal Capano. I got some real good news. This is some good news. Uh, you want to stay tuned to this whole video on this. Um, it's about overpayment. So if you come across this video and you were one who had to pay back some overpayment to your state, well, this just came in on Wednesday and brought to my attention as today on this Thursday. Um, I'm going to read this in a second. Um, I'm also going to be, yeah, you don't want to miss this. I'm going to be, uh, I think it's in two weeks. I'm going to be in uh, Reno, Nevada. Um, if you're coming across my channel, you're saying, well, what's I got to do with my state? Well, I'm fighting for Nevada and uh, if you come across my video, um, please use your voice and fight for your state on these overpayments. Um, and I'm going to be going there for a couple other reasons, but this is definitely going to be on my top three list on overpayment. So if you're out there and you had to pay back some money or they're requesting, just hold tight for one second. Um, before I go there though, um, I just want to say if you are coming across my channel as it helps my channel, hit the like button and the subscribe button. I uh, greatly appreciate it and all the comments uh, on the last couple of videos. Um, geez, it's, I, I can't thank you much as, uh, I am, uh, growing my channel so thank you I'm gonna get right to it because I know you guys want to hear this I'm gonna read this this came out of the biting administration um, okay so and I quote if you are overpaid unemployment insurance or POA the Biden administration says they should be able to keep some of the money so if you've been overpaid keep some they don't say how much some is but I'm sure we're gonna hear about this more and more as I'm bringing this out the U.S. Department of Labor issued guidelines on Wednesday, yesterday, lets the states, lets the states waive the recovery of overpayments. Um, so some of the overpayments, but they're letting the states, here we go again with the states. So my voice will be yours in Nevada. And if you're coming across again, uh, use your voice wherever you might be. I know Texas had a problem, so stay tuned to that on the overpayments. Uh, Susie Levin. Uh, states uh, quote uh, the states that are already collect they, if the states already collected overpayments they should um, now give back a hundred percent so now they're saying give back a hundred percent and then they say some so um, but this is this is really good news on overpayment so uh, this is Susie uh, Levin uh, and I'm not quite sure who she is but I'm sure she works with uh, the administration um, when the okay, so when the COVID hit the U.S., yeah, when, when we got hit with this in February 2020 of last year, um, claimants of UI unemployment and POA, ready for this number, 6.2 billion in overpayments. Now, 6.2 in overpayments. Now, some of those overpayments were because maybe people didn't have the right documentation in and they're requesting money back. You know, and there were some out there who were probably, and hopefully nobody on my channel, I'm sure there's always a percentage of people who were taking advantage of the system and maybe they weren't really self-employed, but 6.2 billion. All right, Texas alone, in Texas, remember Texas had that problem, they had they were making them pay back all that money with interest? Texas alone, 260,000 people were asked to pay back their benefits in Texas. So if you live in the state of Texas and you paid it back, you better contact your state legislators and your and your government and the chief of staff and ring them off the wall. They should get this information. This came out on Wednesday. This is from the administration. Um, and I have to say, I agree with this one. Um, I'm not supporting the left or the right. I'm just giving you the facts because I'm sure there's a lot of people I know of. And that's not counting fraud stuff. So, um Yes, uh, I think that they should. I think it's a shame people were have to, were asking to pay this back. And even if it was a mistake, maybe you were only self-employed for two months and they gave you two months. Well, you know, um, I'm sorry. I'm just, it, it's their mistake. So hopefully uh, I'll get more answers. I, again, um, it's in two weeks. I'll be in Carson City. A lot of you know where, it's where uh, Sisolak is. And I'm going to try to... Uh, meet with the chief of staff or at least the secretary uh, with any likelihood I doubt the governor wants to see me but I'm gonna fight and bring this up along with fraud 
that was number two on my list because there's a lot of people, including my wife, who were a victim of fraud and uh, for some reason or another, they never got any of the payment back. It was in the hacker's account or in my opinion, I believe some of this was an inside job. Um, just on some of the sources and people I've gotten to talk to when my wife went through it, um, they never ruled out an inside job. So, um, you know, you don't want to accuse anybody, but it wasn't just people from Saudi Arabia. There was people in the United States and some who worked for unemployment. And that's not counting so many people I've talked to, friends and clients of mine, who they were opening up people who weren't eligible for unemployment, who didn't collect. They were opening up names, cloning their names, and now their credit um, they have to go through a whole mess to get the credit back. So that's also on my list. And then um, also on that list is this uh, job thing and job search and promoting your business. And by the way, real quickly, um, file this Sunday like normal. I'm not getting a clear questions. Uh, I know there's going might be some questions that pop up. Remember last week they didn't implement. It was a little confusion, but this is the week where you can kind of keep a journal and maybe they'll ask you along the line to add job search or promoting business search um, but uh, there might be two or three questions and I'm only assuming they might be questions like how long will it, when you think you'll get back to work and those questions probably yes and no um, again I'll be around if you have any questions leave your comments I'm Sal Capano um, again hit the like button if you enjoy this video and share this video on social media um, by the way I'm at 177 before I came on so as soon as I get to 200 uh, another great giveaway. So we're going to pick three winners this time. And how I'm going to pick them is just basically on comments. They don't have to be a big detailed comment. Although I like the comments. You can leave as long as you want. I'm just going to randomly have my grandkids pick them again. And so more comments I see from you guys. The more the names they see. As they go back on five or ten videos. You might be chosen. Um, there's nobody sponsoring my channel. This is something that I want to do. And then somebody on here who was one of my first subscribers who agreed to help me out. So um, we haven't determined how big they're going to be, probably like they were last time. Just a little something back to pay a bill or take your spouse or your um, or, or take a friend out to uh, dinner or lunch or maybe pay a small bill. I will see you on my next video. Very good news. Very productive news on this. Ciao.